You're not allowed to watch it. Why not? Because your feeble mind couldn't handle the beauty of Joey's dance recital. Fuck you, Steve. I'll be the judge that I want to see it. No! Oh. All right, everybody's here. Let's get started. Wait, what about Dan? He called, said he couldn't make it because he ate bad stew. Again? Again? No, this time he actually ate some rancid stew. Or so he says. That guy's missed three shifts. I think I might have to fire him. When you say fire him, do you mean give him an overdose of LSD and send him on a pointless quest? No, I already did that. Uh, Let's all try to come up with a fun way to fire him while we do the inventory. Make the time go by faster. What inventory? We don't even sell this shit. I'm trying to get into the Forbes 500 this year, so I need to, you know, get a total of all my assets. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you! Now let's Woe Bunny and get started. Who the fuck are you? Woe Bunny now! Whoa, Whoa Bundy! Bundy! Ah, that's so fun. All right, Johnny, you go in the basement. Bob, you're in the front of the store. I will be sitting in this remarkably comfortable recliner behind the counter, writing all this stuff down. This is bullshit. Get on the ground now! Hey, you don't have to get all Bill Pullman on me. Nice twister reference. Shut up! Give me a book count right now. Ugh. Ten copies of the 56K Revolution, a user's guide to the high-speed world of cyberspace. Ten copies of the 56K Revolution, a high-speed guide One to the One copy of the Kama Sutra. One copy of the Kama Sutra. Two copies of Staying Clean and Not Dying by Whitney Houston. Two copies of Staying Clean and Not Dying. Four copies of How I Would Have Done It by O.J. Simpson. Four copies of How I Did by Maybe we should read this and kill Dan like that and then frame O.J. Simpson. Don't move that sack of books! The dust on that book is priceless. It's worth more than your life. All That's my retirement dust. All right. All right. One copy of Sex by Madonna. One copy of Sex by Madonna. Three copies of How to Steal Other People's Ideas and Be Great by Quentin Tarantino. One copy of The Return of the King. One copy of The Return of the King. Hey, you know what? We could douse him with oil and burn him alive. I'm not necessarily going to kill him. But if I do, I want it to be something fun and original. I mean, the last guy I killed, I just shot right in the face. Felt really uninspired. How many people do you have to kill annually to appease the Dark Lord? That hipster piece of shit had it coming. An offering to the Fallen One is a far more complicated process. First thing you gotta do... Hey, Steve, there's a total of three dead bodies down here. I would have thought there'd been more, but it doesn't matter. They aren't worth any money. Well, not necessarily. See, what you could do is skin them and then uh, detach all of the muscular tissue then chemically bleach the skeletons, then uh, assemble them using copper facets to make them into uh, models for medical colleges. Sounds like a lot of work. Anything else? Uh, well, there's a ton of drugs, uh, more than I can see with my peripheral vision. Can't count that. It's not on the books. Anything else worth any money? Uh, there's three cases of something called Chelt? Oh, good! We can use that to dissolve the bodies! Uh, I don't know if this has any immediate value, but there's a giant floating woman's head that's telling me to kill. Ignore that, and get up here before the mole men sense you. Hurry up and close the door! It's starting to smell like teeth up here! Teeth don't have pores! It smells like tongue! Damn it, my pen ran out of ink. I gotta go see if we have pens. Dude, so, three dead bodies? Have you helped murder people? I thought this was a drug front, not a murder farm. I haven't killed anyone, but I helped them cover it up. <laughs> Dude, I am not cool with murder. What are you talking about? You just offered two ways to kill Dan. Yeah, but that's Dan. He fucking deserves it. No one deserves the unspeakable horror that Steve is capable of committing. When Steve murders people, he makes haunted houses. What's what's going to keep him from murdering us, man? Maybe we should kill him first. Maybe we shouldn't be talking this loud about it. Yeah, he's coming back. So are we going to do this? Are you ready for that? He's standing right there. Good thing we're talking really quiet. Hey, guys. We got pens.